All right, so you just went from sergeant to staff sergeant? What's next? I'm gonna tell you right now. All right, welcome back to the channel. My name is Joseph French, and on today's episode, I'm gonna tell you what to expect and how to be prepared to be United States Army Staff Sergeant. Now, first and foremost, I wanna tell you congratulations. Congratulations to you, congratulations to your family, congratulations on making Staff Sergeant in the United States military. It is a huge, huge point and pivotal in your military career. All right, today I'm gonna to give you seven, never math in public. I'm gonna give you seven things that you can do to prepare for that Staff Sergeant rank and what to expect going forward. And one of the very first things that you need to do is you're gonna shift your focus. As a Staff Sergeant, you need to shift your focus to also developing NCO. As you move into a staff position where you'll possibly be a squad leader with multiple NCOs under you, you need to move into shifting your focus and worry about developing those NCOs. Developing with training, leadership, mentorship, all of that will now begin to start falling on you as a Staff Sergeant. Shift that focus. The next thing you need to start getting spun up on is NCOERs. Now, in the Army, we don't like to write. No, we do not. But in the Army, you need to know how to write. You need to know how to articulate what your NCOs are doing. Did good at teaching stuff. Yeah. No, you're going to be taking a look into Army Regulation 25 TAC 50, as well as Army Regulation 623-3, which you see here, will talk a lot about the NCOER. Now, in this Army Regulation, you'll see a bunch of things talking specifically about the NCOER, the Non-Commissioned Officer Evaluation Report. And this is huge as you start this transition to Staff Sergeant, where you're going to start writing your own NCOERs. And the big thing to take from Army Regulation 25-50 is clear and concise writing. It is your job now to articulate just what your NCOs and your squad or your team are doing. And you need to make sure that you're having effective writing because your writing on that NCVR and how well it's written is huge to not only you, but to that NCO. All right, on to the third thing. You need to start thinking big. As a sergeant, you were just thinking of my team, my three or four soldiers, this is my team. As a staff sergeant, you need to start thinking big. You need to start thinking company level training. You need to start thinking about where your levels of impact need to grow. Inside your squad, yes, have impact. Inside your platoon, have a lot of impact. Inside your company, this is the level of thinking as a staff sergeant that you need to start changing. You need to start thinking about training that leads to FTXs, of how you could design an FTX or a sticks lane. Something that includes your level of leadership as a staff sergeant. All these MLS specific trainings, you need to start thinking of how you're going to run them. You need to start thinking of that level impact and you need to broaden that. So on this one, change your thinking. Now on to the fourth one. Again, with thinking, yeah? We need to start thinking like an E8 and we need to start operating as an E7 and wearing E6. That's how you need to walk around. You need to have the mindset of what would I do when my platoon sergeant's gone for two weeks? I might have to be the platoon sergeant. That's how you need to be working. You need to be working at their level, but you need to be thinking at your first sergeant's level of how big of a level impact, I talked about in the previous one, big a level impact you need to have. So remember, think like that E8, operate as that E7, but you're still on E6. All right, on to the fifth thing, schooling. What schooling should you be really prioritizing? These schools should be master fitness trainer, master resiliency trainer. They should be EO, equal opportunity, sharp trainer. These are ones that help your company. We're thinking outside of our team now. We're thinking about that bigger levels of impact. So the schooling you should be seeking are those levels of schools. Schools that come with additional duties and you have a bigger impact within your company. Now on to number six. Now you need to start preparing for both your NCOERs and positions in this crucial time as a staff sergeant. Now these positions could include both. Drill sergeant, your instructor, your recruiter, any position that takes you out of your MOS. These are positions that are gonna make your first look for E7 look very good. So you need to start thinking about taking on difficult positions because difficult positions equal promotions. But also, that difficult position is gonna grow you so much. So during this time as a staff sergeant, you need to start planning out the rest of that career because these steps at this time in your military career are absolutely crucial on where you're gonna go from here on out. All right, on to the seventh and last thing. Remember that you're a leader. You're an NCO. You're a soldier. Don't lose track of that. 
I know a lot of people that get promoted to staff sergeant and they let it get to their head. I'm too big for this. I'm too big for that. Then they wonder why their culture is no good. Soldiers don't want to work for them. They don't want to be around. Your NCOs don't want to be in your squad. Don't forget that you're an NCO, that you're a leader. And your goal now as a staff sergeant is to create leaders. Do not lose track of that. If you got anything else, drop them in the comments below. I want to hear from you. I want to hear from my staff sergeants. I want to hear from my soon-to-be staff sergeants. Give me all the answers. Give me all the questions. Let's go. And remember, these little things right here are what's going to help you prepare to be a better, more effective, and highly qualified NCO as we move forward. And these are the things that separate yourself from your peers. And today, that's the drill. All right, if you liked the episode, hit that like button on Instagram, hit that follow button. And if you're on YouTube, hey, smash that subscribe button. Don't miss a video. It doesn't give you any notifications. You won't miss a video and dominate the day.